I'm George King. Two years ago, I free soloed the Shard and was handed a six month prison sentence. I've spent my life preparing my body and my mind for the extreme challenges I undertake. But I'm always left questioning as to why I do it. I want to spend time with other extreme athletes, discovering how they train and what motivates them, what goes on inside their mind and what makes them tick. These activities are all extremely dangerous and can only be carried out by highly trained experts. Do not attempt to recreate them. This is Chris Murphy. He'll jump off anything. As long as he has a long drop and some water to cushion his fall. He's part of a group called UK Cliff Jumpers. They search for the craziest places to jump off. Cliffs, quarries and bridges. Like most extreme sports, there is still a risk of injury and even death. What's happening Chris? How are you doing mate? Good to Pleasure meet to you. meet you. I really appreciate no, you so. letting us into your life. Yeah. What's the highest you've ever jumped from? 75 foot. 75 foot, Jesus. So it's just a lifestyle now, really, isn't it? It's yeah. took over, made me miss. I've been on holiday for about four years now, because <laughs> every, every time I get off work, yeah. it's Scotland that we're down south. Once Monday comes, you're like, oh, I wonder who's playing off at the weekend. Yeah. What do you do for a living? A uh, fiberglass engineer. I, I couldn't sit in an office all yeah, day. Yeah, I know what you're My saying. My head would explode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah. missus want to put a film on and I'll be fidgeting half yeah, through. Yeah, no, I, I'm completely the same. I have something called attention deficit hyperactive disorder where yeah, I, yeah. I can't sit still. Yeah. I've always got to be doing something. Yeah, and I've felt yeah. that my so-called disorder has been very much linked to my risk taking. When my life is literally in my fingertips, I can only think about what I'm doing. And it's probably the only time in my life I feel fully fixated to the moment. I like the way you've put that. And once you change, you get the wetsuit on, stood on the edge of the cliff. All you've yeah, got yeah. to think about is that jump. And it lasts for three seconds, but it's the best three seconds yeah. of that week. Yeah. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. It carries on for like a couple hours. That's you, it. It's you like get to bed that night and you just... think about it. You're, and you're you can't get to sleep because yeah. you're thinking about what you're doing. Like, right, I'm going to yeah. be knackered tomorrow. Yeah. Do you ever jump by yourself? No. That's really? A big no, no. Interesting. Why, um, why is that? You get in trouble. There's no one there to help you. You land flat on your back. I've seen lads knocked out. You hit that water. It, it's like concrete from some height. So talk me through the SpongeBob pants then. These are wore the first time I went, well not these ones, these are about my fourth pair. Do you know how hard these are to get in adult sizes, <laughs> mate? I can imagine, mate. Hello there. Hi, hey, George, hi. Nice, to, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what's it like going out with Chris? A few weeks ago you did 70 and I've only ever seen him do 50. Yeah. Yeah, I was literally hid behind a bush. I was like, <laughs> I can't even watch. You held the UK record for a while, didn't you? Yeah. Really? Yeah. For, what was the UK record for? Single backflip from a uh, 74. He's done it! Oh my god! Oh. And it got took off me by a 13 year old kid. Ah, oh, well get it back. <laughs> get it back. That, I'll, I'll have, have it. That, what are we doing tomorrow then? Uh, tomorrow we're going to hit a nice bridge in Doncaster. 40 footer, nice 50 footer to have some fun on. Yeah. Should be a good day. Oh, no, no, like. I'm looking forward to it, mate. No, pleasure meeting you, yeah, mate. You I look too, forward man. to seeing pleasure. you again yes. tomorrow. Yeah, All right, you catch you in a bit. See you later. So here I am today, the back streets of Doncaster. I'm going to meet a group of cliff divers. I'm going to see what goes on inside their mind. What's happening, guys? Nice to see you. You all right? So how far away is this bridge then? It's just about two minute walk down the path. Yeah. No, I'm really looking forward to seeing it, man. It's a world I've never seen before. That, this is the bridge. Oh, is it? I'm looking forward to seeing it, man. <laughs> that looks mega. What's the legalities of this? I think it's a, a grey area, but yeah. we have had the police turn up yeah. and I think they said, we can't stop you. We, yeah. but we can you advise you not to. Yeah, no, it's classic. But there's, there's enough of us here, we know yeah. what we're doing. Yeah, that's right, mate. What kind of preparation do you do before going out and doing a cliff jump? With it being a river, you can see all the trees down the side, stuff like that. Anything could have fell in that river and just drifted down. So one of us will have to go out, maybe flippers, have a good poke round, and make sure that it's as safe as it was last time we were here. Yeah. How dangerous does this get? You, you could die, it's, it's as simple as that. If you don't take things seriously or practice and work your way up, things can go wrong. I've seen lads coughing up blood from 18 foot. I've knocked a tooth out from 40 foot. You need to know what you're doing and not just rock up and, and start cliff jumping. It does not yeah, work yeah, like it's that. It's a progression. It's gotta be, it's yeah. gotta be. 
Do people come from parkour, gymnastic backgrounds? Matty himself, he's a uh, rollerblader. Oh, There's okay. lads that do parkour, yeah. gymnastics, yeah. even martial arts. Oh, like is it? Some of the stuff they do, I, was, I don't even know what they've done, never yeah. mind how they've done it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's their own as lads yeah. that just like and come in and just straight jump in it and just, yeah. or having a swim around. It's all about enjoyment. That's it. it. Right, Chris, what's going through your mind now then, mate? I just want to get on the wall. You just want to do it. <laughs> Jump in. <laughs> Same, mate. How are you feeling, mate? Oh, good. Yeah, good. yeah, yeah. You yeah, good. like that first jump. Got it, good. Yeah, first jump, getting oh. the buzz on. Yeah. Back up there again, now. Yeah, that's it. Oh. Oh, I love watching it, mate. See, I've only seen a couple and I'm hooked already. <laughs> I don't have to be back, mate. <laughs> <laughs> George, right. nice to meet you. So are you the kid who's got the record then? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so did your dad first teach you when you were younger? Done a lot of dives. My dad yeah. does a lot of like yeah. really high dives. How high was your, your record breaking? Uh, <laughs> 82 foot. 82 foot. Yeah. I've done it off higher than that. Wait, I look at that and I, that is high, mate. How much higher is that? That and a bit, bit more? 10 foot higher, I think. 10 foot high. You're at 13 years old as well? Yeah. Right. <laughs> That was amazing. You clearly got a taste of a bit of danger. Where did that come from? I think I was born with it. You, you can think? probably answer that. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I get it, I get it. You can't replicate that in regular life. Oh, not at all, like, not at there's, all. There's nothing like you're standing there and the feeling is like head to toe kind of fit. Yeah. But you have to somehow figure out a way to overcome that. Yeah. Then when you go back to real life, you can yeah. pretty much come back wherever you want. Yeah, that's it. We just had two old women walk past on the bridge saying, you're stupid, you're reckless. 99% of people are just like, yeah, it's awesome, get yeah, the yeah, cameras yeah, out yeah. and that. It, it would be reckless for her to jump off. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> but yeah. for me, I've trained and built up to it, yeah. it's, it's not reckless. Exactly. Is it? Oh! Was that meant to happen? Oh, was a thing. That was a ballsy manoeuvre. Yeah, fair, <laughs> fair play, Steve. Yeah, Talk me through what that was. Uh, that's called a death dive. So yeah, I just yeah. find if I go in like that, yeah. I can protect everything at the yeah. same time. I've actually got a broken rib because I did it off of that one <laughs> two weeks ago. As I'm standing there looking into their eyes when they do it, I see that intensity. It's that eye of the tiger. It's that release. But I think the next step of progression is going out to that 70 foot motorway over there. A few of the lads are keen to jump off it. Definitely looks like a different kind of beast to this. So you've got cars, you've got lorries, there's more pressure. Right lads, so looking over at that, 70 feet, what's going through your mind? Is your heart going? Is the adrenaline racing? Yeah. Once you're up there, it's you and that bridge. Yeah, yeah. You know what to do, you know what you want. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Structurally, it's massive. It's intimidating. These pillars are intimidating. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but best of luck. Right, I appreciate this. that, brother. Yeah. Good luck, boys. Figure bigger Let's... every time. <laughs> <laughs> I love the intensity. Stakes are massive on this. It's a different ball game. If they over rotate, land on the front, it's definitely a trip to her knee. Do you think that Chris having this extreme passion, it almost intensifies that bond you yeah, have with definitely. him? Definitely. I see how much he loves it, which yeah. makes me dead proud yeah. of him and yeah. stuff, but yeah. I just haven't got that same yeah. thing in it in my yeah. head. It's the highest I've ever seen him jump like. Is your heart racing? I've, I've got butterflies. <laughs> I feel sick. I've got like a nervous rush and yeah. everything going on. A reminder, it's dangerous and illegal to walk alongside a motorway. Do not attempt to copy this. I see Chris going over, they've got to act fast. And they've got to keep the pressure under control. Oh. 
Yeah. That was intense, mate. So what's it feel like when you're just about to step off? It's not yeah. It's yeah. just, yeah. Yeah. Like, I need to go. Yeah. One mind. Yeah. You are on. You know yeah. what you're doing. You know what you're there. Yeah. As soon as we said bye to you, yeah. that were it for me. I knew where yeah. we were going. Beautiful. We were lot of respect, lads. It's been a privilege seeing you oh, lot jump today, man. You, yeah. This is clearly, clearly your life, isn't it? Yeah. Like, it's a, it's a release. Yeah. I, yeah. I get so pissed off during the week yeah. with work, and yeah. it just allows you to be you, mm. whatever you're feeling at that time. Yeah, it's okay. just express okay. yourself. I, like, I get what you're saying. Do you ever see yourself stopping then? Not anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> it's too good to get yeah, it's, it's, it's too good. good. I get it, man. Like, it's. It's almost like you do one jump, it's like, right, where's the next, where's that, the next, where's the next? That's exactly yeah. it. What kind of injuries have there been today? Timmy who went before, he's got a bit of a swollen eye, he under-rotated. Matty took one to the chest early on. Well, you go speak to those lads and they still had the best day. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> they'll, it, they'll, they'll just be showing the bird the black eye later and stuff, that's all they'll be doing. Oh, mate, it's been, a, been an absolute pleasure, mate. Absolute pleasure.